Hi there, it's Alana. Welcome to the Praying Christian Women podcast. It's just me again today talking more about the benefits of prayer journaling. So we know that there are lots and lots of spiritual benefits that we can get from prayer journaling. Today, I just want to list off some of the completely non-spiritual benefits that you can get from journaling. So these benefits aren't necessarily specific to a prayer journal, but since prayer journaling is a form of journaling, you will also experience some of these health benefits. And if you've listened to this show for a while, you know that my co-host Jamie and I both get into sciencey stuff. We're both kind of geeks. We actually both are stay-at-home, work-at-home moms who write and podcast for Christian women, and we both have science degrees. So it's just kind of one of these funny things that we both laugh about, but it shows our science geekiness shows in some episodes like this because, yes, prayer has amazing spiritual benefits, but that doesn't mean that there aren't physical benefits too. And it's sometimes really fun to dive into some of these studies that prove what the Bible tells us, that we should be praying. And specifically, we're talking about prayer journaling because if you have not heard, we have a new resource out for you, which is a series of videos and prayer journal prompts and all kinds of resources that will help you either get on track if you haven't used a prayer journal lately, or just give you new ideas of what you can do with your prayer journal if you do that regularly already. And you can find that resource at prayingchristianwomen.com slash journaling. And now we're going to dive in. So these are some of the non-spiritual benefits that even if there weren't the spiritual benefits, this would totally make journaling worth it. And in addition Of course, we do have all the spiritual benefits of drawing closer to God as well. This is just the icing on the cake, I guess you could call it. So as I'm talking about this, I'll probably use journaling and prayer journaling interchangeably. And it's probably no surprise that journaling has been scientifically proven to decrease stress. And it's probably something that most of us have heard before or just intuitively know But it's really fun to see the studies behind it and to think about the psychology behind it. And a big part of that is our brains are kind of wired to hold on to bad, dangerous memories. So for example, if when you were a kid, you got bit by a snake, your brain's going to remind you, if I walk in bare feet in tall grass, this could be dangerous. You want your brain to remind you of that. But most of us hopefully aren't getting, you know, in mortal danger from snakes on a daily basis. Our brains don't necessarily know that. And so let's say that a year ago, someone said something painful to you. And as a result, you're having a hard time getting closer to people because your brain's trying to protect you, just like it was trying to protect that little barefoot kid from the snake, your brain's trying to protect you because it says when I get close to somebody, I end up getting hurt. So let's not get close to people. Now, when we write it out, it's almost as if we're telling our brain, oh, you don't need to remember this. I've written it out, so I'm not going to forget. And so if you write out about that painful experience you had with that friend, you can, and I'm not, I'm not trying to say that you can do this once and you're going to be perfectly cured. Some pain you know, doesn't heal that quickly. But the process of writing things out, part of the benefit of that is it tells your brain, okay, I have remembered this, I've committed it to writing, you don't need to keep reminding me of it. So it's like this conversation you can have with your brain. Yeah, I remember that I got hurt by this person before, and so now every time I start to develop a new friendship, I don't need you, brain, to remind me of that. So that's one of the reasons why Uh, journaling can reduce stress and it also just helps you to be more reflective there are some really fun studies that talk specifically about the health benefits of a gratitude journal where even if all you're doing is writing like three to five things at the end of the day that you're thankful for even if it's just like three to five words you know water bed food family car (laughs) you know or good health or something my 
fluffy bathrobe, you know, even just spending that, you know, how long would that take to write? Maybe a minute if you're writing really, really slowly, but it helps you to be reflective about your previous day. And so many of us are caught up in this really busy, busy, busy mindset, right? And we can all achieve less stress and better health if we can slow down and reflect on some of the blessings. So, you know, the first thing we talked about was how writing can help us process difficult things, but writing about our, our good things and our blessings can train our brain to be keeping track of them. So for example, I went for a month where the first thing I did every morning when I woke up was I wrote down about the dream I had. And it worked every single day, except for one morning when I woke up by my phone ringing. And by the time I was done with that call, I had forgotten my dream. But if I were to try that right now, I would not be able to tell you what I dreamed about last night because I don't remember. But the fact that I had trained my brain that every single day I was going to wake up and write what I dreamed about, it trained my brain to keep that in mind. So if you do the same thing, for example, with training your brain to be looking for things to be thankful for, not only is it giving you that reflective time in the evening, which can help you sleep better, feel happier, and so on, it's training your brain to be looking for things to be thankful for throughout the day. And, you know, going back to my dream thing, it wasn't like I would fall asleep and all that I had in mind was, please remember your dream, please remember your dream. I just made it the habit, the first thing I did, turn on my lamp, grab the little journal I kept on the side of my bed and write my dream. And that was all it took for my brain to keep in mind, oh yeah, let's remember this dream. And so when we do a gratitude journal or something like that, it's training our brain to be on the lookout for the good things that way we're, we're focusing on the positive, we're giving thanks to God, it can be a great way, again, to be happier, less stressed, and therefore way more healthy. So journaling, and specifically prayer journaling, can also be a great way to learn about yourself and just process through things. So like sometimes I'll show up with my prayer journal with a question, you know, why am I always having a hard time with this kind of character when I write a novel or something like that. And I'll write about, you know, when I wrote this book, I had a hard time with this character and that book and that character. And then as I'm writing this out, something might pop into my head and be like, oh, I totally get why that character is hard for me to write. It's because when I was in third grade, my babysitter said something that hurt my feelings and I never forgot. That's totally an example pulled out of nowhere didn't really happen, but I, I hope you can get what I'm saying, how sometimes just the act of writing things out, if you're stuck on a problem, if you're confused about something, writing it out in your journal can help reveal your own thoughts to you. And then the added benefit of doing this in a prayer journal is we are laying out our thoughts before God, who already knows our thoughts anyway. And so we can be totally assured that the answer to these riddles that we have about our own lives or questions we have in our own minds, he already knows the answer to. So knowing yourself can help you make better decisions in the future. It can help you feel less stressed about things. It can even help you in your relationships with others, right? So if you know, hey, I always get stressed at this time of, you know, podcast for a woman, let's just say, at this time in the month, I know I get more stressed because I have journaled it, I have tracked it, I know that this is what happens hormonally. So I know that if this is coming to my time where I have a hard time for the next day or two, I can either be extra prayerful or maybe even just give myself extra grace so that if I snap at the kids, I don't automatically say, oh, I'm a horrible mom, I'm a monster. I say, oh, I'm not feeling good, I need to be careful to have a little extra patience, but also extra grace with yourself, right? So the more you know about yourself, the better relationships I feel like you can have with others. And also knowing about yourself takes a level of vulnerability, right? Because we all have things about ourselves that maybe we're ashamed to admit or things like that. When we get those things out on paper in a prayer journal, it, it can take that weight off of us. And so if you've been, you know, ashamed about a certain sin or a mistake you made in the past and you journal about that, that can help lift the weight from that. So it has the benefit, the spiritual side of things, you know, that comes from confession, but also just the, the psychology of release 
you know, being, being able to write it out and then let go of it. So this was a pretty interesting study that I read about. So they had these adults, this was a study from 2013. They had two groups of adults and one of them spent 20 minutes a day journaling for only three days. That's all. So three days, 20 minutes a day. I think most of us could agree that yes, over the next three days, if you were told that your mother would die if you didn't do something for 20 minutes for the next three days, all of us would find a way to do that, right? And so they had a group who journaled 20 minutes a day for only three days, and then a group that didn't journal. And all of these people ended up being patients who had to have a biopsy. And the people who journaled just for three days leading up to this biopsy had a faster rate of healing after the procedure. And then there was another one that said that writing for 20 minutes a day, three to five times a day, will lower your blood pressure and improve your liver function, right? So they're, they're picking these things that you know don't seem necessarily related. I think a lot of it does have to do with the way that writing can decrease our stress. And I think that stress can impact our physical health way more than most people realize. So that might be some of it. I have no idea for some of these, but you know, other studies have shown that people who do regular journaling will sleep better at night. There are just so many additional benefits. Another really cool one is in the realm of goal setting. And so we're talking about reasons beyond the spiritual why journaling is so good for you we've talked a lot about health but goal setting is another one whether you're talking about you know financial goals career goals keeping up the house kind of goals um, you know diet and exercise kind of goals when you commit your goals to writing I forget the number exactly but it's something like you're 30% more likely to achieve your goal if you just write it once you know and some people talk about you know you pick one goal, you write that goal out every single day for 90 days. That can be really powerful to keep that first and foremost in your mind. Because how many of us have said something like, okay, I want to, for example, we're, my husband and I are pretty close to paying off our car. And we, at one point, rattled up a date. You know, if we just did this, we could probably have it paid off by this date. You know, that's probably a good idea. And that was all we thought about it, all we said about it. Now, if we had wanted to commit that goal to writing and every single day we wrote, you know, have the car paid off by this date, then it would continually be in the forefront of our minds, right? So that's just another benefit about journaling and, and how that relates to prayer journaling. I really feel like we should be involving God in our goals, right? Because we can't do anything apart from him. And so I'm all about including your goals and your goal setting in a prayerful way in a prayer journal. And so that's just one more benefit that we get is being so much more likely and better equipped to achieve our goals, whether that's for health or you know work or ministry or whatever our goals are when we write them out. Like I know for me and my calling as a Christian fiction author, I do a lot of journaling regarding my books and my characters and you know, even like my marketing plans and, you know, this is my way of, I call it kind of brainstorming with God, you know, and so I'm connecting with God through this and I'm working towards completing these projects, which I love to do. And so journaling has definitely helped me in that area of, you know, being productive, goal setting, all of that kind of stuff. So that's just one more benefit to throw on there for journaling. Which kind of leads me to another benefit that I just sort of thought about, but the act of journaling daily is a really good discipline that can translate into other areas too, right? So if you develop this habit of journaling daily, the, the self-control and discipline that you exercise by doing something, same time, same way, every day, whether you feel like it or not, that kind of discipline and motivation and perseverance can have benefits in other areas of your life where you don't want to you know, be responsible or be disciplined. So I really probably could keep going on and on, but I imagine that you're getting the point by now that in addition to the amazing spiritual benefits that we get from prayer journaling, 
that there are so many extra benefits we get in addition that are just going to help us to be happier, healthier. Again, those aren't the goals, but they're definite benefits that I'm very, very thankful for. So hopefully this has encouraged you, you know, as a takeaway, if you just wanted to try one thing, maybe start with the gratitude journal at the end of each day. Five great things that happened to you today that you're thankful for. And yes, it seems simple, but can very much help you be so much more positive and worshipful throughout the day because you're training your mind to focus on these things. And then at the end of the day, you get to appreciate them all over again, right? So for more tips and exercises and prayer journal prompts and ideas and videos and resources, go to prayingchristianwomen.com slash journaling for our entire course on the subject. And I hope that it's a real blessing to you.